Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is master boxes on the Great Plains. And this is a 135th scale. The reason why I'm building this model kit is because of COVID-19. At the time of recording, COVID-19 has gained more of a foothold throughout the entire world. More people are dying from COVID-19. And in my country, there are a lot of social unrest. Um, and one of the things I want to mainly want to talk about is the Black Lives Matter movement, in which a lot of African Americans in my country are beginning to protest about racism and how unfair they're being treated in the United States. And so when I was watching the news, I was looking for a new model kit to build at the same time. And so I found this particular model kit about the Native Americans. And so I was just thinking about the origins of racism for my country. And for my country, racism really started with the Native Americans. When the first Europeans came over to the, uh, to the Americas in large mass, they saw the Americas as free land for them to take. They saw this place as, quote unquote, the New World. And so they saw um, the Natives in the Americas as a hindrance to their goal. And so they used racism and religion to really um, annihilate the Native Americans in the United States to take their lands away. And also, whoever was left after the war, they put them into unwanted lands in the United States called reservations. And so, in my opinion, the origins of racism came first with the Native Americans. This is going to be a good kit for me to build and hopefully you get to enjoy it too. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing the horse and the two figures.
It's time for me to build the base. I decided that I wanted a diorama of the figures on top of a cliff. So what you see right here is a styrofoam, um, piece of styrofoam that have glued in several places to make this rough, uh, rough looking cliff right here. And now I'm going to put plaster of Paris to make the appearance of a cliff. I decided to add a backdrop to my diorama so I'm going to paint a sunset this is simply a white canvas and I'm going to start making a sunset right now All right, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, we made a diorama out of it, and we also painted a backdrop for the diorama. So we're going to review this from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting, weathering, building the diorama and, and painting this nice little backdrop and I like it. The painting of the figures are pretty good. They're one of the better figures that I've painted so far uh, at the time of this recording and making the cliff and painting this little sunset is very nice. I like it a lot. Now going to um, really racism again Racism is a part of being a human being, in my opinion. We could never really get rid of racism, but we can better manage it. And when I say manage it, I'm talking about understanding racism. In order for us to better understand each other, we must understand the other person's point of view about how they feel being hurt by racism. That completes this model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of this entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert, I'm just a regular guy just like you. So in this slideshow, you are going to hear um, an actual song sung by a Native American, an actual Native American. And this is a very angry song. And this song talks about how he feels about his plight being a Native American living in America today. And perhaps this song really is, is representative for most Native Americans living in America. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to include a link to, an, to some interviews um, of actual Native American people about how they feel about living in America today. So I encourage you to, after this video ends, um, take a look at that link and educate yourself about racism um, for Native Americans. I'm QDC and thanks for watching. Bye bye.
At times they were kind, they were polite in their sophistication, smiling but never too loudly. Acting in civilized manner, an illusion of gentleness always fighting to get their way. While the people see, the people know, the people wait, the people say, the closing of your doors will never shut us out. The closing of your doors can only shut you in. We know the predator. We see them feed on us. We are aware to starve the beast is our destiny. The times they were kind, they were polite, but never honest. We see your technological society devour you before your very eyes. We hear your anguished cries exalting greed through progress. While you seek material advances, the sound of flowers dying. Carry messages through the wind trying to tell you about balance and your safety. But your minds are chained to your machines and the strings dangling from your puppeteer's hands, turning you, twisting you into forms and confusions beyond your control. Your mind for a job, your mind for a TV, your mind for a hair dryer, your mind for consumption. With your atom bombs, your material bombs, your drug bombs, your racial bombs, your class bombs, your sexist bombs, your ageist bombs, devastating your natural shelters, making you homeless on earth, chasing you into illusions, fooling you, making you pretend you can run away from the ravishing of your spirit. While the sound of flowers dying, carry messages through the wind, trying to tell you about balance and your safety. Trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness, leading us into the trap, believe in their power, but not in ourselves. Piling us with guilt, always taking the blame, greed chasing out the balance, trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness. Economic deity seizing power, through illusions created, armies are justified. Class systems are democracy. God listens to warmongers' prayers. Tyranny is here. Divide and conquer. Trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness. Greed a parent. Insecurity the happiness companion. Genocide conceived in sophistication. Technologic material civilization. A rationalization. Replacing a way to live. Trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness. To God, we hope you don't mind, but we would like to talk to you. There are some things we need to straighten out. It's about these Christians. They claim to be from your nation. But man, you should see the things they do all the time, blaming it on you. Manifest destiny, genocide, maximize profit, sterilization, raping the earth, lying, taking more than they need in all the forms of the greed. We ask them why. They say it's God's will. Damn God, they make it so hard. Remember Jesus? Would you send him back to them? Tell them not to kill him. Rather they should listen. Stop abusing his name and yours. We do not mean to be disrespectful. But you know how it is. Our people have their own ways. We never even heard of you until not long ago. Your representative spoke magnificent things of you, which we were willing to believe. But from the way they acted, we know you and we were being deceived. We do not mean you or your Christian children any bad, but you all came to take all we had. We have not seen you, but we have heard so much. It is time for you to decide what life is worth. We already remember, but maybe you forgot. Look at us. Look at us. We are of earth and water. Look at them. It is the same. Look at us. We are suffering all these years. Look at them, they are connected. Look at us, we are in pain. Look at them, surprised at our anger. Look at us, we are struggling to survive. Look at them, expecting sorrow be benign. Look at us, we are the ones called pagan. Look at them, on their arrival. Look at us, we are called subversive. Look at them, descending from name callers. Look at us, we wept sadly in the long dark. Look at them, hiding in technologic light. Look at us, we buried the generations. Look at them, inventing the body count. Look at us, we are older than America. Look at them, chasing a fountain of youth. Look at us, we are embracing Earth. Look at them, clutching today. 
Look at us, we are living in the generations. Look at them, existing in jobs and debt. Look at us, we have escaped many times. Look at them, they cannot remember. Look at us, we are healing. Look at them, their medicine is patented. Look at us, we are trying. Look at them, what are they doing? Look at us, we are children of Earth. Look at them, who are they?